welcome to the data session uh, in this video we will be discussing about uh, date and time functions okay so this this is ibm data stage parallel jobs developer guide so these are the list of functions that are available so current date current time current time hms now let's discuss uh, each one in detail level so most commonly used function is current date so if you want to populate current date in your uh, target uh, target uh, db or a file so current date it will uh, it will be displayed in yyyy mmdd format and current time it will display the current time and current time ms it will display current time with microseconds and current time stamp so it will display current date and along with the uh, with the time and current time stamp ms okay and it will uh, display the current time along with the microseconds okay so the next one is date from since so if we given the dates uh, okay so it will uh, return a value like uh, the pre uh, previous day or uh, or what will be the next day like that so here also the same function it will display the same and and if you given the date like this okay so for example let me show it in a notepad so if you mention like this it will display the output like uh, 2010 uh, so like this it will display date from component and date from a jubilant date so if we provide any value so it will convert the date into from the uh, from the jubilant date it will convert the actual date Okay, so these functions and all we want to use. So just for knowledge sake, uh, I'm sharing this. And days since from date. Okay, so here uh, if you want to find the differences between the date, this function is used. And similarly this also. And days in a month. If you want to check how many days in that particular month, it will give the output days in a year if it is a leaf year we have 360 days 366 days and if it is non leaf year it will give uh, 365 okay date offset by dates so if you want to consider like here the it will return the given date which offset by the uh, given number of days okay so it may be a positive value or a negative value so now handling with hours hours from time if you want to extract hours from time that we can extract jubilant date from the date so if you provide the date it will return the jubilant day from the given date and now handling with microseconds from time okay so you can get the microseconds from the time midnight seconds from the time minute from time month day from date and month from date so month day from date so it will return the day of the month from the given date and also month from date if you want to extract the month from the given date that can be extracted okay so next week from the date so what will be the next week next week from the given date this is one function nth week day from the date so nth week day it will return the date of the specific day of the week and specified by the number of weeks from the uh, source date okay so seconds from time previous day from the date what is my previous day from the given date previous week day from the given date okay and uh, next one is seconds from time okay so then time date 
so time date will it will display the time and along with the uh, three digits uh, abbreviation format of the month okay so let me zoom time from the midnight seconds so if it is the midnight what will be the time okay yeah so these are the date and uh, time functions so here i have taken a small example what and all the frequently used in uh, real time so this is the ready made job already designed so here <coughs> I have considered row generator as the input to get some sample data. And two records I have considered and I have passed a current date. So, so current date I am populating from uh, row generator using uh, use current date function. Okay. So use the current date. So when you use the current date, it will consider the system date. Okay. Click on close. Okay. So click on okay so that is my input and target i have created a table to check uh, the dates all this date functions and all date checks is the table name uh, i have used replace function so that uh, any time if you run the job existing table will be dropped off and the new table will be created okay so now let's open double click on transformer so these are the columns that I have mentioned. Okay. So here uh, current date from row generator. What is the current date that we are getting from row generator that we are positive passing here. And the next one is current date from the system. Current time, current time, current time, current time. current time, just a minute. Okay. So here, uh, current time MS microseconds, current time of, uh, current timestamp, date with uh, hours, minutes and seconds, and microseconds. And this is uh, another function date from the component. So if I mention like this, as I shown you an example, so it will uh, revert it in a date format, uh, YYY, MMDD format. Date from six, if you consider this, the previous date will be displayed, minus one I have done. And so this is my date and from that day onwards, other function, the same, same as the above one. So here uh, I have given minus one. If you see here, uh, example. So let me. Okay. So the next date I have given uh, December thirty first, twenty twenty one, and date from the jubilee date. I have passed some number and date from since so what is the uh, date differences and the, and the next one is dates in a month days in a month okay so if uh, number of days in a month and days in a year jubilee date from the date so it is opposite to that we give the date automatically it will give the jubilee date months month day from the date month from, so I have given a sample date here. You can choose whatever the date that you want. Month from date, year day from the date, year day from the year from date, and year week from the date, okay? So these are the common functions that will be used. So there are some other functions also. 
based on your requirement and based on your need, you can refer the IBM product, uh, the IBM data stage product documentation. Okay. So now let's click on okay. And we have defined the target that is database. Yeah. Now compile, save, compile, and run this job. And now let's see the yeah job got completed. So let's check. So this is the table. Yes, yeah, select star from table name. Yeah. So here we have given and rotated two records, right? Yes. Today's date is third uh, March, sixteenth March. So our row generated date and the system date both are same and current time so now uh, now time is 9 93 okay so when the job run that is that time is 9 uh, 9 9, nine o'clock uh, 3 minutes 56 seconds so current time ms with microseconds current time stamp you can see here uh, date along with the current time uh, micro time current uh, timestamp MS with microseconds. Okay, so here I have passed the date from the component. I have passed uh, 26 February in the job. So this is same has been constructed. Date from since. So I have given minus one. So minus one of first March. Uh, so it will be February 28th and I have given a uh, date from since to function I have given uh, December 31st uh, 2021. So it will be from there uh, 76 days. So that will come tomorrow. Okay. Since we have in February 28 days. So that is the reason. So Jubilee date, we have given a number, it is written the Jubilee date. Days, days difference. Okay. So number of days in a month. So I have selected March. So March month uh, has 31 days. Days in a year. If it is leaf year, I have given 2020. So 2020 is a leaf year. So we'll have 366 days. Okay. So I have given the date that uh, the, it uh, returns the Jubilee date. And the next one is and the next one is uh, month days month days month days from the date. So I have given uh, yesterday's date. So if you see the job here, months from date. What date I have given? So months from date. So I have given fourteenth. So 14th means it has written 14th of the this thing. And the month day from date. Okay, so I have given 14th day. So that is the reason it has extracted 14. And similarly, month from date. So I have given a month, uh, same month. So month, uh, so I have given 14th, 14th uh, March. So it has written three. And years from date. So 73. Okay, so extracting the current year. Year from date. Okay, so here weeks from date, 11. Okay, so it is, which is the week? So here 11th week, right? So we are uh, two months completed. We are in, we are in the middle of uh, third, third week of uh, Third month. 
okay so 4 plus 4 8 plus 3 so 11 so these are the date function so i have already completed uh, making the video for uh, how to one oh, oh, i mean like uh, string functions so you can type you go to youtube slash radha academy radha academy press this and you can see go to, go to the playlist here you can see there is an option uh, transformer stage functions when you press this no so here the list of videos it will come one by one okay so all the string functions now the current video which i am making that also incorporated in the same playlist okay so thank you thanks for watching so if you are looking for any data stage training data stage job support ibm information analyzer job support you can uh, reach out to me thank you have a great day